Hello again, Elizabeth Scala here, owner of Living Sublime Wellness. As this month's healthy theme is all about letting go, I want to share with you something that happened to me just this morning. So I went in to get an oil change in my car, and as I was leaving, I made note there was a curb to the right of my vehicle and I made note of it I looked down and you know made sure to clear it and maybe I was looking too hard because <laughs> I ran actually right over it and my car was up on the curb and it made this loud scratching noise and I was so embarrassed so upset so frustrated so angry and just ugh, I felt terrible there's nothing I could do. I reversed and got off the curb and went on my way. But I just felt this lump in my throat and I felt like crying. I was just so angry. You know, I just paid for my car to get fixed and here I am running over a curb. I got about, I'd say it's about 20 feet, 25, 30 feet down the road to the first traffic light out of the um, car dealership. And I just <sighs> exhaled and was like, you know what? There's nothing you can do about it now. You can't change what happened. It's a car. You did what you did. It's in the past. It's over. You have no control over it. Just let it go. So as we move through this month of letting go, releasing our need to control, letting go of tension and strain, living in the present moment. We realize that letting go is a healthy process. We release emotional baggage, we release unneeded tension and strain and stress. When we let go of past experiences, past letdowns, past failures, mistakes, when we let these go, we open up for and welcome the space for more opportunities, more blessings, more space to grow and achieve. So letting go of all that crap makes room for more beauty, makes room for abundance, makes room for more love and more of what we want. Two um, suggestions and ideas I have for you today have to do with letting go. One is journaling. At the end of the day, many nurses have trouble falling asleep at night. We work switching shifts. We've got a lot going on. Our minds are racing. So journal. Before you go to bed, just let go of what you don't need. Just empty it out all onto the page. Let go of stress, let go of tension, let go of worries, let go of to-do lists, just put it all on paper. The second thing is actually interesting, decluttering. So where do you have space in your house that you can declutter? Do you have a drawer that needs to be emptied? Do you have a closet that's just busting full of stuff you don't use? Is the basement getting out of hand? When we declutter some of the physical belongings in our life, <sighs> we let go. We make more space for abundance and beauty and joy. We release that excess baggage. We feel lighter. We feel expansive. We feel open. Ah, just less stress, less tension. So where can you declutter in your own house? Letting go. Ah, just feels so much more peaceful. Have a healthy day. Thank you.